You notice how we've got long with our tails with our woolly buggers? Yeah. Is that how long you've guys are now tying them? I'm trying not to because we've been hooking around. Or no, around. don't worry about tying that length. Yep. And and and, 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 and when you when you're stripping, strip faster. Bump, bump, bump. They don't often get caught, and uh, they're catching twice as many fish as what the short tail ones do. Hmm. Right. And it's the same with a the Shrek. They've done the same with Shrek. Shorter uh, the tails. No, longer than the tails. Length, the length of the tails. Double, double, at least double the length of the hook shag. And, and not too much mirror flash on them or, or um, whatever down, one piece down either side is plenty. And uh, it's just a standard woolly bugger. I've only done that to give you an idea. <coughs> this is the fly that I fished the whole time. Bryn Carmen and I fish. Is like I used to fish with Jimmy Davis or in Jimmy Davis's company. I couldn't un never understand how these guys could get 15, 16 fish in midge hatches in the morning. I'd get one or two. If I had clients, I'd go elsewhere. Mm. I'd, I'd get away from them because mm. they always had bent rods. And finally, was on was on um, Lake Samuel one morning. I was rowing. Bryn and Bryn straight away had changed his fly going out. Fish were on the midge. He started to fish. I still had a woolly bugger on from the night before, a big one. He was out of about five or six casts of this fish, couldn't catch it. I threw the woolly bugger in front of it, just straightened it out, <coughs> fish. So I modified it, brought it down to the small one. The best we've done on that in Samuel and other lakes is 28 in the morning mid on that. And you'll say, why put a bead head on it? Precisely. Don't ask me why, but it worked. And the way you fish it, is see the fish rising, cast it, X amount in front, depending whether it's a brown or a rainbow, cast it in front, straighten it out, don't move it, just hold on. Mm. Gone, fish. Right? And if the fish stops rising, it's usually an indication someone says, ah, oh, I've frightened you moved away. But that's not the point. The fish has stopped looking at it. So then you just start to strip it back. Right, and about halfway back in, <laughs> gotcha. And I tried it one morning and caught about five or six. And I said to Bryn, I said, Bryn couldn't catch a fish. He said, how are you catching them? He said, and I told him, he started to do it in my belt. So if the fish stops rising, you know, and they're going, you know, they go when they're mitching, they're looking and thinking, would I, won't I, probably swimming around, I don't know. But if you start to strip it in, next thing, they take it. So that, would that work in the wind lanes as well? It kills them in the wind lanes. Yeah. And I went and talked with Jimmy Davis, and you know Jimmy's comment was to me? He said, gee, mate, you're a slow learner. <laughs> <laughs> so I've fished that in a midge hatch ever since. And I've fished other people from England and that with me in the same thing. And it works perfectly. Simple fly, just a small woolly bugger. Okay, more tired. And the good thing about it in a midge, look, I know we all want to catch fish, you know, head out the water and that. Bryn and I done a, a little exercise um, on Samuel. We said, right, we'll test these fish out. So he, we made up two rods. Oh. One with midge pattern dry on it, one with that little woolly bugger on it. And someone, we kept alternating the two rods. Guess what the score was at the end of three days, three mornings? Yeah, how many do you reckon? 30. 56 fish on that. And three on the drive. I'd be happy with the three on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that three more than normal. Buggers hit on the old yeah. stick caddis. You know, it, it's, and it just works for some stupid. But you, 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 you just put it in in front of them, straighten it out, and just wait. 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 Mm. You're not stripping it, and they'll take it. They'll, they'll come from a metre away after. Mm. Well, so if you're fishing from the shore, would you use the same exactly technique? Exactly the same technique.